two countries in Africa. I've talked to a couple of people, three people really, two people from Nigeria in the last few months and one person from Kenya. Okay. I want to saw, by the way, I want to saw my grandma this week. She turned 96 years old, right? Two days ago, I want to saw my grandma, 96 years old. And one of her caretakers is Kenyan. She came from Kenya. And Kenya just recently had civil unrest there, demonstrations, mass demonstrations. Some people died, right? Because the government here was raising taxes because most countries are bankrupt. They're going to raise taxes. Canada's tax up the yin yang. Even Ukraine is trying to raise taxes. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Right, so Kenya and Nigeria, major civil unrest. There's major protests in Nigeria right now as well. Okay, the Kenyan person and the Nigerians they're leaving. Whoever can leave, they're leaving. These two Nigerians that I talked to and the Kenyan that I talked to, they're caregivers for my grandmother. Right, they're women, females. Right, caregivers for my grandmother. They're saying, yeah, Nigeria, not good. It's it's gonna. The situation is very bad economically, politically, violence is kicking up, and it feels like it's on the teeter totter of major civil unrest, right? Civil war, possibly. Uh, the Kenya person I talked to, uh, even though we knew, I already knew some of it, she said, Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Kenya, very bad, very bad. It's going to get much, much worse, right? What do Nigeria and Kenya have in common? They're allied with the Western world. This area is being challenged, is in major conflict right now, sort of a balance of power shifting from Western control to Russia, Eastern control. The United States just abandoned, what was it, a $110 million military base they built in Niger. The Nigerian military dictatorship that took over told they kicked out France, same with Mali. They kicked out France, get the F out, right? So France had to put its tail between its legs after decades of controlling this region and left. U.S. had military bases there, and Niger just, after months of telling the United States that they want the U.S. military out, uh, United States just abandoned the military base that they had in Niger that cost them $110 million. Just imagine what you could do in Africa for $110 million. They build a $110 million military base in Niger, they just abandoned. And I believe Russians are uh, slowly going to be occupying it. Okay. Just quick verbal, just some of the stuff I wanted to cover, right? Uh, a lot going on a lot going 